We need more cowbell! Happy 4th of July everybody, JW here. We just finished this one up for Mr. Dodd out of South Carolina. Um, this gentleman has just been one absolute pleasure to do this truck for, so I'm really excited for him to uh, see it finally. And uh, Jason's coming out to pick it up on Monday after the 4th of July weekend, but I just wanted to say Happy Independence Day, everybody. I know it's a tough time in America, and you know, hopefully peace will prevail and uh, hearts will soften a little bit more so but anyways we did this this is a 300 wheelbase 389 I have the preliminary video on this truck um, so you can see how the truck looked before we did our ads but I wanted to say a special thanks to uh, Speedway Graphics Joe and Kendra uh, for doing all the pin striping and rainbow collision down in uh, Fountain Colorado they did a lot of the paint on this truck um, sure appreciate you guys Imco, Randy over at Imco here in Colorado did the PTO setup for us. So uh, just go ahead and hop into it real quick right here. So this one's legendary black with legendary silver. And as you can see, we took the paint all the way through uh, the air cleaners, stack guards, and everything. And that was David Dodd's idea. He, he was really adamant about making that happen. So I'll give you a quick side perspective of the truck. Cord, the the colors just came came out so beautiful together. I put a low rider front end on there, and uh, that way when uh, Jason and David go go out and hang out in the job sites and do their thing, then they can uh, raise up the suspension or lower it down. And one of the other cool things we did, since it's uh, got a 20 inch bumper on the front, is we put a lift mechanism on it. That way you'd have more clearance when you go through the gutters. Then, Well, the tuck's nice and in. It's nice because it doesn't go out and up. And so I'll just go through some of the stuff that we did. We did a match paint on the legendary black, as you can see here. We had that in our initial video. And then we match painted up to the, the grill and through the grill. Or, I'm sorry, the grill surround and then down through the grill. Added a couple grill bars. Painted these guys. All the step guards are painted to match the legendary. And then we did our angry duck. painted the surrounds on the light pods you can see they got the flake paint on them and then we put trucks lighting LED lights I got some guys asking me questions about that the turn signal turns amber so this lower strip will turn amber and uh, there's an LED right here and that one is very very bright so it's pretty cool how how it really becomes prevalent when you turn on the turn signal. And then you can see Joe and Kendra did all their pinstriping around the fender. And we painted the step guards to match. And then as you can see here, we have our filler panels. Uh, these have the shine down lights. These are four inch drop. And 
then we ended up tucking the train horn back here. So that's all painted to match. Chop the air cleaners down. And then we did the blanks with the shine, the reverse shine lights. So at nighttime you can see how they shine out there. 12 gauge, 12 inch drop visor, two extra cab lights with smoke lenses. Nice little touches there. Then you have the shine down lights here underneath the sleeper. Painted the tanks to match. And then Joe and Kendra did their work there. Jason, I feel sorry for you every time you have to fuel, brother. Lift axle controls. And then in the back, we did a A drop visor on the rear window. Changed all the back lights out to LED. Iowa Customs. Uh, flush mount deck plating. some protect boxes there just for a little extra tools and then we had to relocate the the jumps the jumper posts were moved here liftable steerable axle and then Imco they put the PTO outlets there I just capped everything off we'll let uh, Mr. Dodd and the crew put their stuff there Peterbilt oval rims Painted the fenders to match, of course. These are Merit. Mr. Dodd is a man of faith and a man of his convictions. And a, he is a great person to speak to and just get to know. a split tank with the PTO output on the bottom side so we could keep the top of the tank clean. I'm going to go ahead and raise everything up. I probably missed some stuff. There's so many things we've done on this truck. I, I did forget to mention the window chops. And while we're waiting for a little bit of air, we got new steering wheel installed. Just a few white accents. I think they might be doing a little more here and there. I thought that duck idea was really cool. Then I realized while you're driving the truck, you're staring up a duck's butt all day. I guess there could be worse things. So. All right, and here's the truck all aired up and Fenders up off the wheels safely and all that good stuff. Well, there you guys have it. This is our uh, our David Dodd Custom. 
If you like these videos, click on the button in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe. And again, happy Independence Day, everybody. Um, we sure appreciate you. Give me a call if you have any questions, 970-518-5520. Thank you.